what's up i'm valently victorious i'm back um i know that it's been a hot minute since i made a video i've really been operating out of straight disobedience i already know i just really the lord has been pressing something on my heart and i really gotta share it's gonna be a real quick video so y'all just bear with me and thank you for tuning in again so something like an issue i feel like that's been going on in my personal life and around a lot of people that i see and, and that are in my surroundings like the people we're planning in my life um is that we tend to not process our feelings out through the lord yeah, a lot of us have relationships with him. I don't know why I did quotations, but we all have relationships with him. Everybody's relationship is different. We all communicate very, very differently. And we all are pretty protective and defensive uh, if someone is questioning our walk or, you know, certain things and certain aspects of our relationship with God and how we should be portraying ourselves. And so, like, I mean, everyday issues within my life and my relationship, I'm always supposed to be a representation of Christ. Now, I'm not perfect by any means, but this is something that I try to put into practice throughout my life. And because of so many scriptures and that re that tell us how we should carry ourselves, don't give in to anger because, you know, it gives the devil a foothold over the entire situation, over our lives, you know, like he's seeking out for somebody to devour. He wants to get the best of us. He wants anger and emotions and feelings to lead us and to get the best of us. And so when you understand that in your walk with the Lord, then you know that like when those human things or feelings come up and stir up within your heart, you know that you have to take them before the Lord. And a lot of times that's not easy. Like in that moment, you feeling what you feeling. You finna pop off at the mouth. They finna get these hands, whatever the case may be. Like you feel what you feel and it feels justified because you are feeling it and you feel validated or you feel important because it's you. And if you ain't, if ain't nobody else gonna look out for you, who gonna look out for you? You know what I'm saying? Like whatever, you know, we just feel justified because it's us. But at the same time, when we line our lives up with the Father and with His Word, it's totally contrary to that. And we feel out of alignment sometimes because of situations and scenarios like that. Because I'm sure you go through life every single day and like, uh, like the whole 24 hours, you're going to get pissed off at least one time. So I'm saying all of this to say that we can process these things out with God, y'all. He's available to us. He's open. He will not rebuke us for our questions. He will not rebuke us and be mad at us. He's not Zeus. He's not going to strike us with lightning if we say, yo, God, like, I'm really, like, upset. Like, I'm really pissed off. Like, I'm trying to handle this in a way that would be pleasing to you because I care about you and how you feel about this situation, how you feel about me. This other person or whoever has come against me to attack me is not worth my soul they're not worth my peace so how can i work this together for my good or just basically turning it over to the lord is working it together for your good because i'm gonna give y'all a story so i live in an apartment i am the upstairs neighbor i do have a little bitty baby who is learning to crawl and he makes a ton of noise i also have a downstairs neighbor and y'all already know like do i have to explain like but i am anyways but point is um we kept basically having like non-verbal confrontation and like every time my baby would drop something or crawl I would hear banging on the ceiling with a broom or whatever it is I don't know but I'm not a confrontational person like I get upset of course I get pissed off but I don't like confrontation so I really didn't know how to handle this like situation so I mean I went on went on patience 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 and tell I'm telling y'all it's wearing thin like I'm a Christian but hey you know what I'm saying so um basically it got to the point where it was just really really bad like all of my company they felt like they had to walk on eggshells it was just a really uncomfortable situation for somewhere that I'm living and um so basically what ended up happening is 
I finally was like, God, I'm mad. I'm pissed off. I don't know what to do about this situation. I don't want to be ignorant about it. I don't want to do anything that jeopardizes the peace of me and her. Like, I want to be a good neighbor. You know my intentions and you understand what's going on. So, like, and I left it at that. But days and days kept going on. She kept banging. I kept getting pissed off. And then finally, I was like, you know what? I'm going to retaliate. I'm going to take this into my own hands because I tried to say something to God. And then he was like, but really, have you? You told me, you just talk, 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 and told me how pissed off you were. And you didn't allow me to filter your heart. Like my heart was hardened to the way that I already felt. And I felt justified, I felt stuck in my ways. And then when I just really released the situation over Tim and said, I'm willing God to accept how it is that you feel about this situation, how it is that you say that I need to handle it because you know her or my neighbor more than I do. So tell me what to do. Like if, there me if that means that we need to have a conversation, God, allow us to cross paths. Like, I totally release this to you, and I pray that your Holy Spirit speaks through me and that we're able to get come to a solution. Y'all, when I tell y'all, five minutes later, okay, I was cleaning my restroom this whole time during this prayer. Five minutes later, y'all, I'm not exaggerating. It was five minutes later, boom, 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 a knock at my door. Girl, guess who it was? It was her. It was my neighbor. It was so crazy. And I already knew what the conversation was going to be about. I already knew, like, what was up. I was just like, how do we start this? Because I don't want no problems. I don't want no smoke. So, basically, we ended up squashing it. We basically were trying to be considerate of each other. She said she was considerate of the fact that I had a baby. And I really appreciated that. Like, I know it doesn't seem possible for his little feet to be pitter-pattering on the floor like that. But it's really him. Like, he crawls really fast and he tries to run slash crawl away from me. It's a really weird situation. But I'm a new mom. I'm trying to get it under control and trying to get it together. And I explained that to her. And I just felt really good because I know that was God like I know for a hundred percent fact and it was just like a testament and a confirmation of what it is that he was pouring into my heart like no matter what it is no matter what I feel he is available for me to process my emotions through and they can be filtered to where things don't have to turn into a fight I don't have to cuss nobody out it doesn't have to get physical there's no need for any of that when you have God like there's no need you know when you have offense when somebody brings offense onto you he tells you to go and have a conversation so I knew that that was the next step so I'm just really blessed for that to have worked out like that like we still have our you know days where Gideon my son is like a little too loud but I mean I just really appreciate the fact that she came to have a conversation with me I felt like it was so mature so God led and I'm just really really grateful that that situation turned around and worked together for our, both of our good and we have an understanding and communication and we can continue to move forward living in peace and I would much rather it be that way than to be plexed up with my neighbor like that's lame as hell every time I'm coming home and we crossing paths it's a mug it's a stair it's some whatever who has time who has the time not me not me but um, that's really it, y'all. I'm going to have textual evidence. I'm going to have scripture. I just had to throw this out there. Y'all, be encouraged. God is totally there. He is not mad at us for having these emotions. Y'all, even in regards to sex, that's a whole... I mean, I talked about it in my last video. He's open, available, y'all. I talk to the Lord when I'm horny. I talk to the Lord like when I'm pissed off, when I'm frustrated, when I feel justified, when somebody else needs to apologize to me and I need to humble my heart and get it all together and get just my spirit aligned and work towards maintaining my peace. It only happens through Jesus. It only happens happens to the voice of the Holy Spirit correcting me and aligning me and reworking me and turning to God's word y'all that's the clearest way that he speaks like I just encourage y'all so to wrap this up this is a real quick video I told y'all um I just want to close with a prayer y'all know how I do here we go Lord um I thank you so much for this opportunity 
to be obedient you know it's been forever i felt the tug in my heart to speak on this topic god i thank you for allowing me to be short and i just lift you up and we honor you and thank you so much jesus for your sacrifice so that we can even communicate and talk to you thank you for having such an open line of communication where we can process our emotions and our feelings out with you god and you can correct us align our spirits father so that we can continue to walk on the path that you have laid out for us in peace and joy and in love god i pray and i encourage everybody whoever is listening to this god whoever heart that it's for that needs this alignment that is going through confrontation or a, a conflict in their life god i just pray that they feel led to be open with you god because you have a solution to their problem in jesus name father be with us continue to walk with us in jesus name okay all right y'all i love y'all so much peace